wattle and daub. Stone Age houses were temporary shelters made of wood or bones, with coverings of leather and tree bark. By the time Britain entered the Iron Age, this nomadic lifestyle was a thing of the past. Houses were now permanent structures and a new building method had come onto the scene. Enter wattle and daub, an ingenious way of constructing waterproof, draft-proof houses. First, tall wooden posts were hammered into the ground. Next, thin strips of flexible wood, such as hazel or willow, were woven in between the posts. These strips of wood were called wattle. Once the structure was complete, it could be covered in daub. This was a sticky, cement-like mixture. To make a good daub, a builder needed three kinds of material. Bulky materials such as mud, sand, crushed chalk or crushed stone. Fibrous material like straw, hay or hair to reinforce the mixture. Clay, lime, chalk dust or limestone dust to bind everything together. Water was added to the mixture bit by bit to form a paste. As soon as the daub was ready, it was smeared or daubed onto the wattle. It was important to get the daub into all of the gaps between the branches. A thick layer of daub was applied to both sides of the wall, then left to dry. In recent years, wattle and daub houses have become popular again because the method is low cost, easy to learn and better for the environment. It turns out we can learn a lot from the people of the Iron Age.